Hello everybody! Today's Thanksgiving! In case you didn't know... Happy Thanksgiving! Today we are in charge of cooking three meals. Three dishes. dishes. One is mashed potatoes. Whaley's favorite. Is this for this? No. Oh, it's it not. Works. Ooh, this is even tighter. Yeah. We are also making collard greens. And we're giving our non-existent skills to try something out of the ordinary. <laughs> I bought it y'all. We vlogged that day when we bought this. So I just found this thing right here and I don't know, I'm having an idea of making this for Thanksgiving, but I, I don't really know how to tackle this. <laughs> it actually looks like a chicken. You look in the packaging. They did a good job yeah. at covering this side, but it's got the neck and then the head of the chicken too, which is kind of funny to me. Here I found a mashed potato recipe that looks really good. This one's from cafedelights.com and it's called the Easy Creamy Mashed Potatoes Recipe. I'll let you guys know how it tastes, but it seems promising. I mean, just like a lot of buttery, cheesy, garlicky flavors. So I feel like this is, you can't go wrong with this one. And the photo looks really, really nice. Um, as for how long, I think it said 45 minutes. So we'll see. Wow, can you come taste it? It's so good. I think I made, I don't know, maybe I'll add a little more salt and pepper. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? You put garlic in it, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Is the garlic good? Hell yeah. That's good, babe. I know, this is like the mm. best I've ever made it. After you put the parmesan, it's gonna be so bad. Oh, shh. I forgot about the parmesan. Nice. <laughs> this is not gonna be enough for everybody because it's so good. <laughs> They're gonna be like, oh, really? We need more. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I totally forgot to vlog my Thanksgiving meal. I had two plates. Actually, I can show you the food that we had because <laughs> it's still on the table. I just got so hungry. We got here and I just made the gravy and I just dug into my meal. So we have a variety. We did a potluck this year. So Emily brought some Korean dishes. Um, I think this is um, galbi jim. This is corn cheese. This is looks like bulgogi. We got some pies. Uh, Sophie made this candied yam. So so good. She makes this every year. So proud. There was one year I tried to make it, and uh, that was that. Yes, remember the first uh, friends yeah, event? Yeah, it was. It did not look like this. But yeah, this is so, so good. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, so I don't know how I feel about it. it. It was really dry, but with the gravy, it's a little better. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it again, type of thing. Like I'm not super into it. It's just really dry. But the mashed potatoes were good. We got some collard greens that Wa and I made. This is a. Ham hock? Ham hock. And then we also have turkey. Damn, you guys tore this thing up. And then some, oh, leftovers. Okay, that's bread stuffing. Your average Thanksgiving food, you know? Everything was so good. I love this table right here. This is the fruit platter and our drinks. Oh, and I don't usually enjoy wine, but Emily bought this Korean wine and it's so good. It's called, it's History of Korean Black Raspberry Wine. I actually did a vlog this so I remember it and buy it for myself at the grocery store. But yeah, it's like a raspberry wine. It's so, so light, but super sweet. And I like sweet wines because I, I just don't really like alcohol in general. So when it's sweet, it kind of masks the alcohol flavor. Um, so do you guys want to just eat? This was our lovely table setup. You have to see what they did here. So we ran out of space on the table. And Sophie <laughs> pulled out her dresser <laughs> and put this slab of wood on top. So this is our second table. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. Hello. I always feel really bad for the dogs during like holiday parties because they're just literally watching everyone eat all this food and they don't get any. <laughs> all right, well, that was our Thanksgiving festivities. Birthday, dear Andy. Oh. Huh? <laughs> the 
Dubois announced it. <laughs> let me help you, let me help you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, we didn't really vlog much last night because I didn't know where the vlog camera was. So good morning, we just woke up, got ready, and the doggies all ate, apparently. Hi, Nubby. Hi, Nubby. Um, so yeah, we're about to have breakfast now. Um, I think all the guys got together and made breakfast this morning, so it's much appreciated. That's our breakfast section. It's nice to finally see what the view of this place looks like because we got in late last night and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Here's our brickies. Wow. Here's my little plate. I'm really liking this wooden fork. This little handle right here. I don't know, it gives you a little grip. It's really nice. I need to get some of these for my house. Okay. Put some of this on here. My heart. The so wholesome. <laughs> yeah, he just left. Oh, you woke up from all the clapping, huh? Mm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I like your hair. You look like a K-pop star. <laughs> I have Navi here. Navi, what about your beans? What are your beans? They're in the room. I brought them. Hot, yeah. I need to find out what vegan sausage this is. The best vegan sausage I've ever had. Oh, did someone just ring the bell? Yeah. Oh, who would that be? Who is that now? <laughs> oh, Leo. Oh, Ash. Oh my god. They were doing the zoomies outside. Okay. Navi, you want to go play? Go play. Navi, go play. Where's Luna? <laughs> oh. Did you have to do the office case? I know. You guys. <laughs> we are picking food up now. We decided to go with two pizzas and then you guys order some Chinese food. Yeah, right? just to share. Mm, so we're gonna go pick up some Chinese food. I haven't Spice. had Chinese food in Spice. so long. Getting Panda Siamese restaurant. This door is huge. I know. We didn't want the other dogs to see. Oh. What does he have? So cute. Uh -huh. I keep holding it like I'm not giving it to her. Uh -huh. So she's doing all these like cute things where like she'll grab it and then she'll like paw it. Uh -huh. Let me, come on. Oh, it's not focusing. Mm-hmm. 
It's so dark in here, it's hard to see. Yeah. Lighting. Like this little innocent baby angel face. Mm -hmm. She only uses her right side. Oh mm. wait, never mind. I spoke too soon. Hopefully that helps clean her teeth a little bit. Her teeth are pretty... There's a lot of build up. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't stare at her, I don't want to give her pressure. <laughs> I've been staring at her for the past, like, three minutes. You just look really cute in those PJs. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It really suits you, like the color. Thank you. Munchy, baby. I like that it's like, it's not like a bright color, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like bright in terms of like, it's red. Mm -hmm. But it's not bright like red, red. Mm -hmm. It's like it's muted. Like it's just... just yeah, it feels very zen. Yeah, I love these. They're so soft. And the plaid pattern on it, it's like so... Yeah. I love these. Navi, you're so cute. I just want to squeeze your head. Do you guys get enough of Navi? Is this too much? Like, Are we showing Navi too much? Because <laughs> so to us, this is like still very entertaining. <laughs> I know, it's kind of like having kids, right? Yeah, um, like when it's your kid, you just love you just, every little thing they do, well, right. most, mostly. <laughs> this is the K-drama we've been watching. We just started this one like a couple days ago. It's called When the Camellia Blooms. But anyways, we're taking a quick break because it is almost midnight. So we're gonna do Andy's cake. Do we have candles? Oh, this is scary. Okay, do you wanna... Watch <laughs> Yeah, watch your step. Yeah. I'm gonna put the here. Okay. Huh? Mm-hmm. It smells so good. <laughs> hey, what? No, they're not. Okay, here, I'll hold it. Okay, so I like that. Deleted that app. Yeah, let's just use this guy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Andy. Happy birthday. Navi! Navi! Navi, come here. Right, let's go. Alright, let's go. Navi! Navi, come! Navi! <laughs> Good girl, are you tired? They have been running for so long. Oh. Thanks, Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there, get in there, get in there. <laughs> Such a good trip. So jealous. Something about Joshua Tree is just, just a mood. Like, look at everything. I think maybe because, like, we don't. All right. Because we don't see this every day. I think looking at the desert, it's like so magical and, and pretty. We're all busy people, but. It's just nice to have everyone gather together, you know, and like the easiest way I can describe like having a weekend filled with like the most 
you know, closest people and the ones you love is just um, a good reminder of what's important. You know what I mean? And so, thanks guys, you know? <laughs> Where are we? Oh, not this way. Uh, can you tell by this? <laughs> we are at Soup Plantation, of course. Put tuna tearing on though, it's always good. You always put beets in your salad. Mm -hmm. That's like one thing I see that you never miss. So excited to show you guys a package I just received. I've been eyeing this set for about a month now. Their, their ad keeps popping up on my Instagram. Let me talk, please. So their ad keeps popping up on my Instagram and I was like, oh my God, like this set is so cute. And they reached out and asked if I wanted some pieces. And of course I said yes. So I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. The website is from Our Place. The brand is called Our Place. This is super cute. I believe I read on the website that this is some sort of like four in one situation. So it's like one pot or pan does all. So when you open it, you have a steamer tray, so you can use this to steam whatever it is, like buns and things. You can use this for sauteing. I feel like I could kind of use this as a wok as well. This is just the perfect depth for cooking, at least for the type of cooking we do at home. We usually make pastas or stir fries, so this is perfect. It's like the perfect size and there's a curve right here so it's good for like tossing and I thought this part was really cool because you attach your spatula here so it always just stays together and I thought this would be perfect for whenever we go camping. We bring so many different pots and pans when we go camping and we usually like wrap up our spatula in like a newspaper or something but now we can have everything in one. So pop this back in, put this here and the lid. It comes in three colors. I remember seeing a pink one, this one, and one other color, but I don't remember which one it was. But yeah, really cute colors. And we also got some mugs or cups, really pretty. We've been trying to revamp our shelf. I wanna add just like more color to the shelf. So the other day we picked up these cups. It has like a charcoal type of gradient. And now we'll have these with a kind of amber, gradient and yeah I just like how it's starting to add a little bit of color up on our shelf and these bowls I was so excited it kind of looks like a dog's dish but I actually really like this shape because this is the perfect shape for ramen noodles girl I am updating or upgrading my Ikea bowls okay so these are my, actually these are from Daiso so these are the bowls that I always use for ramen noodles, I got it for $1.50 at Daiso, and it works, it's great, but I'm just over it, and I want something prettier. So this is perfect, because it's deep enough to fit your ramen noodles, your vegetables, your eggs, and it's also really cute. I like that it's up here, it's just like a speckled bowl. Really, really pretty, and I like that they stack perfectly on top of each other. I'm very happy with this set. Oh, and I just noticed this. So each of the boxes came with one of these, they provided a natural sponge. So now I have three of them. Was adding some coolant. Were you adding coolant? Uh, yes, coolant. In the engine back there. And I thought I'd come in here to get some feels. Every time I'm in here, I feel really happy. It's probably because every time that we've been in here, we're going camping. And some of my biggest joys in life would be camping. Like for real, every time I think back to some of my favorite memories or times that I felt the most happy is on the road, camping, whether it be in this van or like all the camping trips I've done as a kid. Camping just makes me really happy. And this van represents that. I love sitting up here. From time to time, Juan, I just come in here because we haven't had time to go on a camping trip or not not necessarily don't have the time it's just that we have different priorities right now so i know we could just like go on a weekend trip so we can make it happen but yeah haven't been in here for a while and every time i'm here and i just look at this view it makes me so happy 
I love how the instruments look. Everything is like super old. Even the smell in here is very old, but just nostalgic and warm. And I can't wait until we switch out the carpet in here because it's been sitting in our garage. I bought it like last year and we haven't had time to switch it out. But yeah, I got black carpet. So this gray, we're gonna eventually remove because it, it's pretty dirty. And I wanna make my own handmade curtains. I wanna go get some fabric and sew together new curtains even like new rods too this is just like on a like a rope i want to make it just like nice in here because these curtains are really old and even though it's original there's just a lot of stains on them this one actually looks okay but yeah the other ones are really stained and they're really hideous all right we're actually gonna start up the car just because it's an old car you want to once in a while start it up make sure it's still working you know Okay. Hi, Blue. I've missed you. It's on. It's on. That's always a good sign. <laughs> See if the engine light comes on or anything. Not yet. Oh, it's Where are the dogs? Michi. So what they're standing behind the exhaust. Mm. Hey. Can't wait to put the, the thing here. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them? No, I haven't. We, we've had this van for like a year now. We got it last year around November, I think, or October. No, actually November. And we're finally going to get around to building the kitchen that we want in here. So Wall looked up a cabinet thing that we can get at Ikea. So we're gonna pop that in this area right it's here. It's probably gonna be here. And then from here, I think I measured it and it's about like, it comes up to like here, which is perfect. Cause once we put the bed down, mm -hmm. this seat is gonna come out a little, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like a good sh size right here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wanna paint the wind, I mean, tint the windows mm -hmm. and then Get new curtains. Get new curtains. But do you feel like you want curtains like the ones that go here? Because I feel like this is kind of sticky, right? Like, you know how like every time we move this, it's kind of sticky. Like it's not like efficient, like 100% efficient. Like for these two really work, that you have yeah, to like, keep, keep doing this, right? Mm -hmm. But No, what... I wanted the, remember how I told you like the bathroom curtain rod? Like it's like a very small, it's like that, like a mm -hmm. little small screw, and then it will, it will just be like a normal curtain. But we'll probably keep this bottom one or like replace it so with we something can tuck it just in. to tuck it in when we're driving, so it's not like mm -hmm. doing that. But I think it will make, because I want everything to feel like it's one vibe. Yeah. So if we're trying to make this area feel more like homey, I would want curtains. Then in that case, then we don't really have to switch this. Um, oh. It might still work. Uh -huh. It depends on the fabric. I think this fabric is a little too old and sticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I would probably get like, I could even get like little rings that go on the curtains, ah. you know, so that it can just glide. But so it could glide this mm -hmm. way and then right here, this is for the curtains. Yeah. Right here, we could just like snap it on and keep yeah. it there. So you guys have asked for an update for the rabbits. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you haven't seen them in a while <laughs> because yeah I haven't vlogged them in a while and I guess it's because I've been showing them on Instagram so uh, anyways for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram and you've missed the rabbits I thought I would give you guys an update they're still doing very well it's almost Miso's birthday I actually decided to set Sesame's birthday as the same day as Miso's birthday just because I don't know either of their birthdays so hi okay he wants to make a cameo. Hold on. Miso is doing very well. Sesame is doing very well. You guys know she will not really let me hold her. So it will be hard for me to show you guys how she's doing. But she is over there. They are both doing very well. Very healthy. Very happy. And their bond seems to be growing stronger. I got this from Amazon. I thought it would be a nice thing for them to chew on. It's just unfinished raw wood. So yeah, this would be a nice little thing for them to chew on, but so far they have not, which I actually am kind of glad because 
it is nice that it's staying this way. And I just put in a little crepe mat in here for them to sleep in. So far, they have not shown any interest in it, unfortunately. I also picked up a lot of these toys for them. If you guys have rabbits, it's pretty expensive to buy toys at pet stores. Am I right? Like, I mean, their toys be so expensive, but I found some really cheap ones on Amazon and they're just made of natural wood materials. So there's like this little dumbbell. I got like a package. Hey boy. I got a package of like, I think eight pieces for $17. So not bad. And the rabbits seem to really like them. They're just like these cool little shapes. So yeah, they've been tossing these around. The kit also came with, let me show you the rest. Here are some of the other ones that came in the set. But I don't know how I feel about the bell inside. I feel like this will be fun for the rabbits, but I'm afraid if the bell falls out, I don't know if my rabbits will eat them. So I'm just keeping these in here. There are like twigs in here. So yeah, anyways, that's it. Oh, Sesame's here. Hi, Sesame. Hello, Sesame. Bye-bye, Sesame. They think that she was probably like malnutritioned. So when her babies, um, when she gave birth to her babies, they all were dead. So she's had quite the traumatic past. I don't really know what happened to her before that or how she ended up in the high kill shelter. But anyways, I'm grateful that Bunny World found her. And yeah, so I adopted her through there three years ago and it's been three years almost, I think. And we're still working on this bond, but I think I've just accepted it. I don't think it's meant to happen for every rabbit. You know, we've always had very social rabbits in the past, but she is my first one that's not very social. And I had a hard time with that in the beginning because I just really wanted to have that connection. But yeah, it's, it's just what rescue is about sometimes. I guess that's the update. Yeah, that's the update. Anyways, let me find my girl. She just wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, that's fine. Quick lunch together. Yes. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Do all my Chinese people know what that means? Wearing a green hat. So for Chinese people, they have a saying that if you wear a green head, that means you've been cheating on or... Yeah, yeah, like you've been cheating, yeah, or something like that. My two newest hats are both green. Mm. Oh, that's why. Who would it be? How well do you know me? Who would it be? I don't know, like a cockroach? <laughs> Is that my type? Yeah, <laughs> a cockroach or a cricket. Is that with you? No, not me. But if you were to cheat on me, that's a type. Who remembers who my getting out of jail card is? That was in one of our old ones. <laughs> who is it? Who is the man that I will cheat on? Who man? Thank you. Another one of our favorites. This is so good. This is the noodles in spicy sauce. It's a cold noodle, but the sauce is amazing. It's so good that you don't even miss hot noodles. I really like that. The sauce is very, very flavorful. It's very like peanutty. I, I feel like I taste sesame as well. And the noodles are just always al dente. So delicious. You gotta get the spicy sauce. I know. <laughs> gotta really toss it. Flash on me. Oh my god. How is it? 
It's not super crispy this time. I know, it doesn't look that crispy. It's pretty steamed. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let's try it. It's really garlicky though. Mm -hmm. Really garlicky. Why can't I cook beans like this at home? Like, why do string beans at home taste like grass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. You guys want me to separate the two for you guys? No, it's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So the vegetables on top and the fish is on the bottom. Thank you. Thank you. So happy. Got two dumplings. Half order of vegetable and then half order of fish. <laughs> It's kind of bland. It needs a lot of sauce. <laughs> Put some ginger on there. You like in your bib? <laughs> Which one is your favorite so far? Out of all five of these. This one? Oh. It's like the best string beans I've ever had. I thought you were going to say one of those two. Um, well, I love them all equally. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I guess my mood today is So what's the answer, babe? What? Your type of man. Your get out of jail <laughs> card. No, there's supposed to guess. No, I know, but... But then, wh I what? Know. They're supposed to guess and, and we announce the next one or what? <laughs> what are you trying... Okay, what are... so there are two. two. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you see what I did? Yes, I did. I did. Okay. <laughs> um, it would either be Mabu, Jason Statham, or, or Mabu, The Pebble. The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone for an hour. That was it. No! But it was only one hour. That's it. <laughs> Is it necessary? Please explain. Come. Oh, okay. Nevi. What did she do? One... What did she do at home? Did you pee on something? On the couch, maybe? Did you pee on Hi. something? What did you do to me? What about you? <laughs> what do you pee on? Michi, come up. Yeah, what's your name? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Good girl. Sit. Good girl. High five. Good talk. <laughs> Hi, baby. You stink. She needs a shower. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I think we're just gonna end the vlog here. But before I let you guys go, just want to say thank you guys so much for all the interest you guys have been having for the past few years of watching our vlogs. Um, yeah, I feel like we just we just don't announce that too often, but yeah, we really are appreciative of you guys and we love you guys so much. <laughs>